Hello everybody, this is Azarellis. We are back again and we are going to be playing some Valhelsia today. Uh, I've tried two Valhelsia 5 uh, today. You can find it on uh, CurseForge. Easy, easy. It's a very, it's a good mod pack. You know, it's nothing like crazy, like super ultra changing everything kind of a thing. Uh, it's more or less just, uh, you know, kind of like one of those tech it packs from back in the day. You know, it, there isn't massive crazy changes. There is some pretty crazy stuff, but uh, I kind of just like playing Minecraft with a bunch of extra stuff, so that's what I've been doing. This is a fully survival uh, build. If I'm in those menus, you'll see that uh, it does say that I am uh, that I have cheats enabled and stuff. I do that for the sake of like being able to switch over into flyby modes and things like that. Uh, so if I want to like show somebody the whole facility or something that I'm, I've built, I can do that. Uh, but other than that, I just use, it's just a survival run this time. Uh, I haven't done anything. Uh, I might have died. I don't think I died so far. Uh, but this isn't like a super hard mod pack or anything. So uh, we'll just hop in here and uh, I'll show you what I've been doing. Uh, the reason I I've tried to record this like, I don't know, five, six, maybe even seven times. Uh, and I decided that the best way to go about this is to just preface. You know, I'm not doing like a playthrough of Val Helsia. Uh, I'm not doing any of that kind of stuff. I just like playing Minecraft because it's kind of cathartic for me. Uh, it's very... Uh, I just like getting in here and just building stuff and, you know, progressing through things and doing that kind of stuff. So I have a tendency to like go off on tangents uh, talking about random things. Uh, so just understand that I will do that on time, uh, time to time while I'm like building and things like that. But I almost always come back to the origins, uh, to what I'm actually doing. Like right now I am setting up a facility for immersive engineering. Uh, you can see over here, I've got a little farm here for growing food crops. I've moved my, uh, industrial hemp farm over here. Uh, and I've built this big, huge factory facility that I'm going to be using for immersive engineering, uh, create, <coughs> pardon me, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, so let's go ahead and I haven't tried this yet. Let's go ahead and, uh, I should be able to just go cause I do leave this on. There we go. Okay. So here's the facility. I don't use this to spawn things in. This is the reason that I use this is so that I can do flyovers and show you guys where I'm at and what I've been doing and what I've been working on and the plans and all that kind of stuff. Uh, other than that, this is entirely survival. So, uh, I started over here originally, uh, and I started, uh, I ended up finding this building, uh, which is just like a building for, it's one of the pre-generated buildings that is in this mod pack. I noticed that there was a meteor over here. I haven't been over there yet. There's something going on over here. I don't know what that is yet. But the places I have been was I went over to this to see what this is. You can see a WTF going, you know, because I didn't know what it was. It's something called an air altar. I have no idea what that is. This was me going over here to see what this blue tree was. It was one of these blue trees as I went over and busted some of its leaves and got a sapling. It's a uh, Arcanus Ars tree, something like that, Ars Nouveau. Uh, so I wanted to grab one and bring it over here nearby. Uh, and then I went down here and invaded this village to find some more goodies, uh, which I got some immersive engineering stuff out of one of those. And so I decided to build this facility. So I'm going for a more open air design on this one. I also wanted to build my factory over here because you'll see underneath it, there is oil. My hope is to go ahead and do like diesel and all that kind of stuff, because you can see there's actually lots of little areas of oil all over the place. Uh, in this savanna biome right here. And then there's a little bit over here. There's a little bit over here. Uh, there's a bunch of them that I can go ahead and start like maybe piping them or something. I'm not fully sure what all is available in this mod pack. Uh, the way I choose an area is I look for an area that is near intersection, uh, an intersection of multiple different biomes. Uh, and as you can see, this was perfect. 
as I moved away from this and I started looking at the map, I realized that, you know, it's just perfect to drop down right here because there's, you know, this whole biome right here. There's something else going on right in this area. There's something else going on over here, something going on here. There's lots and lots of little things that go ahead and allow me to uh, access some stuff. I need to find out what these blue things are because I'm on the hunt for something called Menrol, I believe it was. I don't know where that comes from. Uh, there's also some interesting looking trees over here that I'd like to find out what those are all about. I believe they're more of these type of blue trees, uh, which I found over here and got a sapling for. But I'm on a hunt for Menrol, and the last time I interacted with Menrol, it showed up in a tree. So I've kind of been searching around for it. But you can see the, the concept that I was going with. There's sand all over the place. Lots and lots of different stuff that I need to develop. So the flyover before we go back into survival is we're going with industrial over here uh, this is going to be a factory that's going to be dealing with all of the immersive engineering and i'll probably make extensions that come off of these part of the reason that i made this in this way large square type thing uh, at these kind of dimensions is so that i'll have uh, these openings that can lead to extended areas uh, so if i end up wanting a full entire area for creative or for uh, the create mod i can just go ahead and do that and make a little area that will be for my create stuff you know uh, for mechanism i could make an extension off over here those kinds of things uh, but generally speaking i always make one towery type of building as you see here obviously i was over cobblestone and uh, diorite so i made it mostly out of cobblestone and diorite and this wood the archwood came from i believe it's these trees let me see this is archwood right yeah it's a it's an archwood so i picked those up from over there at this original building this was the building that i spawned near wait a minute what's this oh, i'm gonna hate it if this is actually something it is mineral dang it it was right there it was near where i started that's why i haven't been able to find it all right i'm not gonna just drop down and go into survival i or i'm gonna go over here I'm going to go into survival and I'll go over there and get that mineral wood. Can I see it from here? Okay. I don't feel quite so bad. Eventually I would have figured that out. So let's go ahead. Game mode S survival. Boom. Ah, come on. Game mode survival. Boom. There we go. Okay. I need that. I need that tree because I need mineral to get into mechanism. Uh, as you can see, this is the stuff I stole from the village down there to get me going on immersive engineering. Do I have... Uh, I was strip mining in the last video. I'll show you the inside of the base. Uh, on the top, I stole the uh, waystone from the village down in the southwest uh, and brought it back here. Named it Azarella's House. Uh, this will allow me to go out and explore and find stuff and then... Uh, just use the waystones that I would find in villages and stuff to go ahead and warp back home. Uh, but my typical building strat is my main level of my house is always going to have this kind of right angled thing where it goes priority, you know, bed into uh, crafting into important stuff chest. So this is just important stuff, things like copper and tin and lead and iron gold, all that kind of stuff that's really important uh, in the early game. I always put in a small chest right near my bed, uh, and then I have a block of furnaces, uh, and then I start going into like building blocks and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then I'll usually have another chest for blocks, a uh, random stuff uh, chest like this, uh, where I don't really have a place to put it. I actually want to put the flint over here. Uh, and then I'll have a organics chest which will have food it'll have flowers it'll have all sorts of stuff in it like that so just fyi that's how i do my things then almost always i'll have a subfloor in my base which will lead to a a strip mining mine and b obviously lots and lots of room for just walls and walls of storage uh, so i'm really still quite early uh, I didn't mind getting rid of the other videos because I am dead serious. Sometimes I will just like, I spent 35 minutes in the first video I recorded when I was gathering the stuff for all of this, 
just babbling on and on and on and on and on about YouTube and the way things have changed and all this kind of stuff. And I will still do that. Uh, just talk about random things, talk about society, uh, political, uh, political stuff, all sorts of different things. Uh, and my interests and whatnot. It's going to happen. It always happens when I'm doing things like this. So I need the mineral is what I need. Uh, let's go ahead and... Is my axe in here? No. Is my axe over here? I had a stone axe around here. Yeah, here we go. I need that mineral tree. And I'm really hoping that that mineral tree will give me... I should build a boat. There's actually a lot of stuff, a lot of ground I can cover in the water since I'm right next to this river. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm going to make a dock here at some point. I need this mineral tree first, though, before I forget about it. That's hilarious, to be honest, because I was looking all over the place for a mineral tree, and there's literally one right next to where I started, hence why I didn't notice it. Oh, sorry. That's my reminder to take my pills. So... Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. Of course, it's a child proof pill bottle. I can't open that. There we go. When you get old, you end up having to take pills. It's just the way it is. I'm a boomer. I'm a boomer. Okay. Let's go over here and get this mineral tree. Is this a kitty cat? Are you a kitty cat or are you a monkey? You're a monkey. You like apples, Mr. Monkey? Do you? You want an apple? No? Let me guess. They want you to eat a banana. I do have bananas, but they're at my base. So, you're out of luck. Okay. I should get mineral chunks. I really, really... Am I getting mineral chunks? So, it is a little bit different than the last time... I fiddled around with this. I really hope I get a sapling off of this. It'd be real sad if I don't. Because it looks like I'm going to need quite a bit of this. And who knows, it could be like a sap collection type thing or something, and I might have just ruined all of my chances. Well, there, there is mineral chunks there. Or... Berries? Oh, and some saplings. Cool. All right. Don't eat my mineral berries and saplings and stuff. Don't do it. Dang old monkeys. Okay. Cool. That is one big hurdle out of the way. Nice. Is that a, are those cocoa beans? Pineapples? These look like cocoa beans. It is cocoa. I don't think I need it, but... Oh, hello. Hello, friend. I am also a raccoon. Greetings. Greetings, my friend. I am also a raccoon. As you will see. No, I am not a furry. Just to let you know. <coughs> I don't judge people. But I'm not. Oh, it's monkeys. Monkey, monkey, monkey. Oh, it's chimpanzees. What's up, dudes? What's happening, gangsters? Are you stinky? Are you a stinky monkey? Okay. Uh, this is, what, bananas? Will, will I slip on this? Oh, <laughs> you do. <laughs> you start sliding around. That's kind of funny. All right. Let's head back. I'll have to come. What's up, homie? What up, y'all? I like raccoons. I do. I think they're great. I think we should really do something as a society about the rampant rabies problems we have. Uh, I've heard that we can't, and I've also heard that uh, we absolutely could if we wanted to. Uh, here in North America, we could seriously put a dent in the problems that we have with uh, rabies and, and wild mammals. Uh, and that's something that I think we probably should do. Because they are pretty cool. They're pretty cool little animals, raccoons are. But, you know, they get rabies and they turn super violent. And they do things like bite kids and stuff. And that ain't cool. That ain't cool. I can't have that. 
there's something we can do about it without having to completely obliterate them off the face of the planet, that would be really awesome, and we should do that. But I like raccoons. They're, they're sweet, sweet little creatures. I remember when I was, uh, I think I was probably like 14 or 15, something like that. Uh, I used to go to this place called Cannon Beach uh, for vacations. And uh, if you woke up at like, you know, five, six o'clock in the morning, and you looked out the window at the resort we'd stay at, uh, you could find, or you would see all sorts of, like just massive tribes of of uh, raccoons because they were hitting up the dumpsters and whatnot around the facilities there at that resort. Uh, and it was, it was a riot because they would just all look at you. You know, they'd see you in the window or whatever, wherever you were looking from. And they'd just eyeball you. Just a metric ton of them. You know, I was about to go out there. I knew that there there was stuff like rabies and stuff that was rampant and those kind of creatures. But it was a coastal city, uh, Cannon Beaches in Oregon. And a uh, beautiful place. Absolutely beautiful place. has a thing called Haystack Rock that most people remember uh, because it is in the shape of a big old haystack. Fantastic. Fantastic place. I loved it uh, all the time when I was there. Uh, the place we stayed at, it, it wasn't that great. A very nice place, but I, uh, nowadays I'm not interested in that kind of a place. Uh, but if you ever get a chance, beautiful beach, beautiful beach. Spent a lot of my a lot of my childhood summers when we would go on vacation, when we had enough money to go on vacation. I would spend a lot of them there. Let's go ahead and plant a few more of these tomatoes. I still need to mine, but I also find mining quite boring. Uh, but I do need to mine more because I really need the resources to go ahead and do the things that I want to get into here. Uh, Coke furnace. That's one of the things that I needed to do. What, what all did I need for that? Was it? Because I need to make creosote. I need the immersive engineering book. That's what I need. So, Acacia Tome. Integrated Dynamics. I don't think this is the one I need. Yeah, this is for mineral and stuff. So to get started with this mod, you'll need to find some mineral trees. Yes, I've done that. You'll need to craft a squeezer and a drying basin for processing mineral log. Okay, so very first thing, we're going to put these off on the side so that I don't get rid of them. I need these for the stuff that I'm making. I don't know if that's going to be beneficial either, but we'll find out. Okay, mineral log. This can be done by placing a block of wood in the squeezer and jumping on it until it's flat. Once that has been done, the mineral resin will try to go to the two sides of the squeezer. Next, place a drying basin next to the squeezer to make it fill with the mineral resin you just squeezed. Okay. Okay, I kind of understand. So that's not actually what I'm after. What I need to do is grab the acacia tome and I need to look, this is what I need. Here we go. Immersive engineering, all right. Uh, workbenches, furnaces, we already have some of that stuff. Engineer's crafting table, I need to build one of these. But see, I need treated wood. And that's one of the base problems. Okay, so Coke oven. Important machine you will need to create. What about the Coal Coke. More importantly, creosote. Okay, so the co coal Coke is what I'm after. The Coke oven is what I'm after because I need creosote oil. So I need what, sandstone or any stone?
Pardon me. I hope that didn't come through the mic. I know how to get clay bricks. I know how to get clay. And it does look like it's straight up sandstone. So that means that I can probably dig down right here and find sandstone. But if that doesn't work, I'm, I'm going to have to travel down here into this uh, desert biome. So what time is it? It's 12.15. I got plenty of time. Okay, let's check in our sand first. Then I'm going to have to find a natural river, which is probably this right over here. Do I have a shovel on me? I think I do. Yes, I do. Okay, let's put these up here because I don't need the axes right now. I'm actually going to go down as far as I can. I don't see any in there. What's all this? Catfish? Cool. Let's dig down a little ways in this sand and see if there's some sandstone underneath it. That doesn't look like it. Try another spot and see. No, it's not deep enough. Okay, so what direction was that? Down over here? Uh, I should make a boat. Do I have wood on me? Yes, I do. And I got a little crafting bench right here. I'll make an acacia boat. I got a tomato for some reason. Let's eat, the, let's eat a tomato. Let's see what happens. When I was a little kid, I, uh, I used to... I used to go out in my dad's garden and just eat stuff uh, when I was hungry. You know, it was just part of the thing of growing up in my, the way I grew up is we always had a, a big old garden. And I remember going out there and eating fresh tomatoes out of the garden, pear tomatoes. Hey, don't eat my clay. What are you doing? What are you, okay, get What's the big idea? Get out of here. Get, go, go away. Go away, Mr. Catfish. I'm trying to. Try to get this clay. How dare you? It's clay. Why are you eating cat? Why? What a absolute jerk. Will you eat an apple if I throw this apple out here? Oops. I'm drowning. No. Yes? Maybe? Why would you eat clay? Of all things. Oh, he did. Ha ha. Nice. Okay. I sounded upset, but I really wasn't. Don't eat my clay. Get out of here. My clay. Now I'm watching my air supply. But I also don't want you to eat my clay. Get out of here. A little jerk. I don't want to kill you. You're kind of cool. But I don't want you eating my clay. Get out of here. Go. <laughs> mean old catfish eating my clay. I mean, I guess it is a catfish. You can catch catfish on almost anything. I, uh, I remember, I recall, uh, getting a or uh, catching a catfish on uh they had this catfish bait that was a combination of goat cheese and animal blood it sounds disgusting but it's like i mean you could understand you know, it's a catfish they're kind of nasty they're delicious uh when cooked right but still they like kind of gross stuff is this just cobblestone I don't know. What? Cobweb entanglement? Oh, it's a cave. Duly noted. I don't know what that is all about, but uh, duly noted. We'll figure that out here in a sec. It said spiders, and I don't actually have weapons, so... Uh, I don't want this to get sucked down there into that ravine, so we'll come over here. Hop up out of here and pick it up. 
Okay. Just monkey through these trees. Am I going the right way? I think I am. Yeah, I am. Okay. Sure wasting a lot of time, though. It's probably going to get dark. Not that big of a deal. This is a desert biome? Desert grass? Okay. I should be able to find sandstone in here. Boom! Sandstone. Nice. So, I need one, but just in case, we'll grab a few. There's always a chance that they reduced the, uh, you know, like the spawn rate of, of stuff like, uh, how many did I get? 17. Let's just get a stack while we still have light since we have a boat to get back to the base real quick. There's a bunch more right over here. There's a chance that they reduce the spawn rate or whatever of, uh, of uh, creosote oil, so I might need a couple coke ovens. Who knows? They change stuff in these mods all the time. 46, that's plenty. It's starting to get dark anyway. There's a big huge ravine right here. I don't want to deal with that. I'm going to attempt to keep this going uh, in like 30 minute intervals for these videos. Uh, I can't guarantee it. I always forget to look at the timer, but we're wrapping up uh, right now because I just checked. So we'll head back. Uh, actually, I'm going to note that real quick on the map. This and this little spot right here. Uh, cave? Question mark? I don't know what it is yet. All right. We'll head back. We'll wrap it up once we get home. Uh, so in the next video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to make a, uh, a Coke oven. That's the plan. I'm probably going to need more clay. So I might have to go out and get more clay. Uh, but we'll see what we can do with what we have. Uh, I know that a Coke oven takes a three by three, a three by three by three with a sandstone in the middle. And then you hit it with an engineer's hammer, which I just got a, uh, are you scaring me a bee? I need to, this thing's full of honey as well. I need to get one of those bee scoop things to get the honey out. Yep, we're going to be working on a cocoa the next time. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of jazz. You guys know. Uh, share me with your friends. Algorithm doesn't like me very much these days. Uh, so, peace out. I'll see you guys on the next one.